Welcome to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> oh, is this for YouTube? This is for YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Focusing on my eye. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Over the past like six months, I've tried to record YouTube videos and it just hasn't worked out. I don't know why exactly I haven't just like done it yet, but here we are. First things first, I did get some new shoes and they finally arrived and I'm very excited for it. Ooh. I typically wear around like a size two in kids and so I just got these cute new sneakers. I'm also sorry for the lighting, like it's not great. These shoes are from a brand called River Island. Um, this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. If you want the details, there's that. Does it show? They're very comfy. I don't know if I could pull off that style, but we'll find out later. Welcome to the following day, Friday. I'm gonna go take a shower and then I have to head out because it's birthday party time. I'm very excited. Um, anyways, I will see you probably at Rahul's. Bye. It's several hours later. Um, so much has happened and now I need to get ready. It's like 4 p.m. We've been to the grocery store. I posted and edited all of my work. So now I'm just gonna like kind of try and be cute and put on a little makeup to like uh, cause right now I, huh. So, let's do that. There's a lot of background noise right now. I don't even know if you can hear me. I kind of was zoned out this morning, so I don't know exactly what I packed. I'm also a little hesitant to put on makeup cause my face is definitely probably a little bit dirty, but how bad is it to put on makeup over dirty skin? Cause I'm definitely like, my skin isn't dirty, but it's not freshly washed. I don't have a mirror. I can't see in the bathroom here. I'm too short. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is just use like my phone camera and look into that. Say hi. There, that's cute. I won't be putting any makeup on my forehead because my bangs would just cover it up anyways and that wouldn't matter. I'm also not prepping my skin with anything because the Rare Beauty concealer is one of my favorite things. I'll also try and list off the products that I use that way I'm not you know, one of those people. I feel like I make the ugliest faces whenever I do makeup. Like I'm just like, <sighs> is that blended? I can't really tell. I feel like I look very one dimensional now, I'm a little bit tired, but oh well. Also this, this I've had for like three years straight now. Like it doesn't move, it just stays right there. I never had it before that. And it like, when I went to the doctor and dermatologist about it, they were like, oh yeah, it's just caused because of stress. When I asked the doctor how I get rid of it, she was just like, oh, become less stressed. And I was like, I'm a sophomore in college. That's not gonna happen. But I definitely think I wanna get a handle on it. Cause it just, it perpetually looks like I have like a hickey and a rash. There's my base. <laughs> it's really no base, but it's something. Look how ruined this got. The minute I opened it, everybody else's is so cute and mine just got instantly wrecked and I don't know what to do about it. So now I just kind of take my finger and I take a little bit. I love the formula and then I just I also do not have the kind of nose that you can contour. So me putting anything right here doesn't do shit for me. When I was first doing makeup, which was like high school, I never did blush. I was like, blush is disgusting. And now I absolutely love blush, but it's always such a pain to blend onto my face. Like I go to war every time I put on blush. Did I list off all the products? To back up, milk makeup, contour stick. I love the formula. The blush that I'm using is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Joy. So when I was younger, I used to always like pretend that like I was doing this whole like Vogue editorial and be like, yeah, so this is the product I use. And now I'm actually doing it and it's kind of funny. We come full circle, you know? Now I usually just kind of take whatever is left on my beauty blender and I put it kind of like right underneath my eyes right here, just to have it blend into my nose a little bit more naturally. And then I actually will go in and I take a dot. Oh shit, put it right there. Like I love blush, but it's just such a task. Like I just don't think I do it right. I feel like blush is the one makeup product that actually wakes me up. Like it makes me look a little bit alive. And I keep it pretty high up, I would say. I might look like a clown, I don't know, but I think it's pretty cute. I don't even know if that's noticeable, but whatever. Rare Beauty setting powder, nice fluffy brush. I can't say enough good things about this setting powder. A little goes a long way, it feels long lasting, and it just feels really nice and fluffy and light. I'm just making sure that it's all like blended in an even color. This is Sigma's blush in Sunset Kiss. Very pigmented, very pretty. The ColourPop highlighter. I'm going to do the most simple eyeshadow known to man. 
I really like straight eyebrows, but I do not have them. And I think it's just because of the way my nose bridge is. Like it's literally like, I just need like right there to be a little bit up and then I can have the straight brows. But unfortunately that's not life and it's okay. I really have no room to talk with my eyebrows after what they went through, what I put them through in high school. Like they were so far apart and so thin. And so now I'll take this eyebrow over any eyebrow, honestly. I typically perm my eyelashes by myself, like in my bathroom at 2 a.m. Um, every four-ish months, honestly, for the past couple years, like the past two years, they're pretty long. However, they're incredibly straight and they don't keep a curl. This is the Fenty mascara and I really love it. I sound very deadpan right now, I'm just trying to focus, but this mascara is honestly one of the best I've used. I think I got this as like a tester sample, this lip gloss from Sephora one time, but it's Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Jelly Lip Gloss. I don't know if anybody cares, but I will be wearing Jo Malone London Cologne. It's the Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I just got a little sample, but I love Jo Malone so much. This is not sponsored in any which way, but Jo Malone. If you are in the scent, or if you are in the market for a higher end cologne and you don't mind splurging a little bit, I definitely recommend Jo Malone. My two favorites are Mer and Tonka, it's incredible, and Nectarine Blossom and Honey. They're very, very good. So in case you're wondering what I'm gonna smell like tonight, it's that. I don't like my haircut. Um, I wish it just was like shaped a little. So I think, ow, putting it up is going to be the move. That feels cute. It's definitely better than what we started with. Rahul had the nerve to ask if he was allowed to pee in here. Like, you want to use your own bathroom? Before outfit and the after outfit. Keeping it incredibly casual, we have a little H&M sweatshirt, sweater, some Levi's rib cage jeans, and then a black belt, just to keep it kind of comfy. I feel like this outfit is a little bit boxy, but it's still cute um, and comfortable. So let's go start cooking, I think. What time is it? I actually think I'm way ahead of schedule, so go team. I'm gonna let you in on one of my favorite pastimes. It's called Let's Annoy Rahul. I can't believe you have the audacity to ask to pee in your own bathroom. You can leave now. You need to fuck pee! <laughs> and? That's not my problem. Oh, right, <laughs> no, no, no. Yo. My camera battery is about to die, so if you don't get to see the festive action, I will take a couple photos, but. Oh, wow, that was a great pee. What's your pee if I hit your trousers? Oh, uh, happy birthday. birthday.